Hey guys, welcome to another video and this is a very very special video because I'm going to be telling you the peculiar case of an applicant who worked with us and this applicant actually had, you know, was basically applying without a GRE score. So, you know, they were not really using their GRE score for the applications and they were only applying to the universities which have waived off the GRE for their program. And guess what? They already have some admits for the fall 2021 term. Isn't that amazing? So let me actually show you. I think this will be very, very motivating for you if you were not really sure whether, you know, you should go without the GRE, whether you can even apply without the GRE or not. I think this is the kind of result that you should be waiting at, looking at as well. Okay, so, um, you know, as you may understand, uh, it is an applicant who worked with us, so we're hiding their personal details over here. It's important for us to do that. But at the same time, I want to tell you that, you know, they did their um, bachelor's in the field of mechatronics, so you can say robotics, and, um, you know, they had a GPA of, or you can say a CGPA of 7.68 out of 10. The, there were also, I think this is also another in interesting fact, there were four backlogs, but I talked to him recently and, you know, they, uh, they said that basically uh, they have six backlogs in reality. Either way, four to six backlogs as well on this profile and still they're bagging some of the top 10 university admits in their field. Isn't that amazing? Let's go ahead and talk more about it. Okay, there was no research paper, so you know, you can, uh, you can take a look at that, no research paper. Uh, but at the same time, they did have almost a year long work experience. Okay, now this is really important guys. When you actually go ahead and you see their um, target university, that's WPI, Worcester Polytechnic Institute. You may, you may think that this university is not really great, but I'll tell you, it's one of the top 10 when it comes to robotics. And guess what? They already got an admit from this university right now. Okay, like I said, I don't need to go over to the scores column. No GRE scores are being used. Um, at the same time, I cannot show you the resume because again, we want to protect the identity of the person. So, you know, please bear with that. Um, the services section, I will show you because, uh, you know, I, I understand that this person worked with us for the complete application help. We did their LORs, their um, SOPs, their, you know, all of the help with the, basically the whole applications. And really, you know, I want to show you the shortlist that we gave them for their applications. Again, you, you will see that I've changed the name of the Excel file over here because I did not want to reveal the person's name. Either way, um, you know, you can see that WPI we had put at moderate for their profile that yes, they can get in. And uh, as you as you might understand, they just got in recently, we had the admit. So um, yeah, anyway, so let me actually show you, they got two admits as of now. One is from UNSW, UNSW Sydney. It's also one of the best universities again, but this is in Australia, it's not in the US. But when you look at WPI, Worcester, uh, Worcester Polytechnic Institute, you might think that, hey, this is probably not one of the top 10. Uh, let me actually show you. Um, top universities, let's say top robotics, let's say top robotics universities in USA. And we'll take a look at a couple of these lists. So I actually already did this, but you know, I just want to do it in front of you as well. So we'll open up the top three results and we'll just search for Worcester, all right, and see where it lands. Worcester, you can see it's in the top 10 over here in this list. Um, you can try it in another one as well. It's again in the top 10 over here as well. And finally, there's another list which also has it in the top 10 again. I think over here it's um, 18, it's not in the top 10, but still, you know, I think that you can, you can, we, there's a general agreement that WPI is one of the best universities when it comes to robotics. Uh, so, guys, what is the deal? Why am I making this video? First off, the most important part that I want you to understand is that either way, even if you apply without the GRE, you are bound to see some good admits. It is possible. But one thing that you might understand that this applicant actually, they applied very, very soon. They did not wait for very long and they applied within the early deadlines. Now I always say, if you apply within the early deadlines, you will have an edge over the other applicants, whether it's about scholarships, whether it's about getting the admit, both the cases, you will have an edge. And that worked wonderfully for this person over here as well, because I can see that most of their applications, you know, November 21st, um, December 2nd, most of their uh, SOPs also were finished by then. So, you know, there's a good chance that the applications were finished by December first week itself. All right. So, yeah, you know, guys, it's very well possible to actually get some really good admits without the GRE score as well. And in this case, you know, this person also had, um, you know, like I said, four backlogs over here. It says it, apparently there were six, but still with the backlogs, with the 
you know, GPA, which is definitely not around 9.5 or, you know, 9 plus. So it's definitely not the most, you know, topmost GPA you will see in an applicant. But if your applications are good and you apply in a timely manner, it's very well possible. So yeah, that's what I wanted to convey to you guys. Again, if you need help with your applications, you can connect with me or you can just go on to ymgrad.com. We have the services tab over here. You can check out how we can help. And uh, I think I think this will really you know help you in your applications. If you're looking for someone to help, hey, we're always here. And apart from that, hopefully this video gives you some impetus. If you would like to see more people who have applied and you know what their profiles are, what their admission rejects are, you can go ahead and you can check it on this page. Um, we have this decisions page where you can you can find all of the admits and rejects of the people who are you know register on the website as well so you can go ahead and take a look at these as well all right thank you so much for watching this video guys i really appreciate you spending time with me over here i hope that you have a very merry christmas and thank you so much again for joining me here subscribe to the channel if you like the content i'll see you in the next one Bye.